Okay, question number four from um, Mechanics 1, M1, Solomon, H paper from the Solomon series of papers. This is H. Um, this is question number four from that paper, which corresponds to question number six from my end of topic worksheet, Vectors, which uh, one of my students asked about, so I'm answering that question now. It says, in this question, I and J are perpendicular horizontal unit vectors and O is a fixed origin. A pedestrian moves with a constant velocity 2q squared minus 3i plus q plus 2j meters per second. Given that the velocity of the pedestrian is parallel to the vector i minus j, show that one possible value of q is minus 1 or negative 1 and find the other possible value of q. Alright, so let's first of all write these as column vectors to make life simpler. 2q squared minus 3i and q plus 2j. So that's horizontal, that's vertical. Now, if this vector is parallel to the vector given here, then it's equal to some constant times that vector. Okay, when two vectors are parallel to each other, then they are equal to a constant time to each other. They're multiples of each other. So from this, we can now form a pair of simultaneous equations. So as I was saying, when two vectors are parallel to each other, you can express one as a multiple of the other. So 2q squared minus 3 and q plus 2 is equal to something times 1 minus 1. And from here you can, um, you can form a pair of simultaneous equations. You've got the i components. 2q squared minus 3 is equal to k. That's equation number 1. And you've got the q plus 2 is equal to minus k. That's equation number 2. And if we add these two equations together, you'll eliminate the k's because they have different signs. So this will be 2q squared plus q. They're not like terms, you can't add them together. You can't combine them together. And minus 3 plus 2 gives you minus 1. And k minus k gives you 0. And there we have a simultaneous, we have a quadratic equation which is easy to solve. This can be factorized very easily, actually, in fact, because the numbers are very simple. Uh, you've got uh, 2q and q. And you have to have um, a 1 here and a 1 here, because 1 times 1 is 1. And you have to end up with a plus q, so 2q times plus 1 will give you q, and a minus 1 here will give you minus q, and we're sorted. So we can say either q plus 1 equals 0, in which case q is equal to minus 1, that's one solution. Or you can say 2q minus 1 equals 0, in which case q is equal to a half, and that's your second solution. So this is the solution which they told us to show and this is the other solution okay so this is the answer to part a now part b says given that q equals minus one and that the pedestrian started walking at the point with position vector six i minus j find the length of time for which the pedestrian is less than five meters from o okay so the pedestrian say that's o and say that's the pedestrian say he's going at a certain path okay say that's five meters from o you're going to find the length of time for which he is less than 5 meters from O. So the pedestrian, he's going to be uh, changing his position depending on what the time is, because he's going at a certain velocity. Now let's, they told us to take the initial position of the, the pedestrian as 6i minus j. So basically the position vector of the pedestrian, which is rp or O to p, is going to be given by r0, which is his initial position, which is given, plus his velocity, okay, times time. All right, so we know r0 is given as 6i minus j, so that's 6 and minus 1. And we know the velocity vector is given, this is v, not an r, is given by this, 2q squared minus 3 and q plus 2. So we know v, v is 2q squared minus 3 and q plus 2. Two. Is that correct? Let me just make sure. Yeah. So when q is equal to minus 1, as I said, then v, the velocity vector is going to be a minus 1 squared, which is 1, times 2, which is 2, minus 3, which is minus 1, and minus 1 plus 2, which is 1. So that's the velocity vector. Okay. So we can say that the position vector of the pedestrian, let's call it O to P, is equal to his initial position which is 6 minus 1, plus the time times his velocity vector, which is minus 1, 1, which can be written in a more convenient form as 6 minus t and minus 1 plus t, which is like t minus 1. 
Okay, so now we can take this vector and we have to say, we have to show that the, the magnitude of the vector O to P, we want to find the times for which this is less than 5 seconds. Okay, so we need to find the magnitude of this vector. Okay, so the magnitude of this vector is going to be given by, so the magnitude of O to P is going to be given by the square root of 6 minus t squared plus t minus 1 squared, which is going to be 36 minus 12t plus t squared plus t squared minus 2t plus 1. Okay, the square root of all of that is a magnitude of O to P. Let's just simplify that. That's going to be 2t squared minus 14t plus 37. Okay, so we want to find whether the magnitude of O to P is less than 25. So we have to solve this equation here, or this inequality here. So what we can do is we can actually square both sides here. Okay, there's no worry about negative signs because time is always positive here. So we can just um, square both sides here. We're going to have 2t squared minus 14t plus 37 is less than 25. Okay, it's less than 25. So we have 2t squared minus 14t plus 12 is less than 0. And we can now um, simplify this by dividing by 2. So t squared minus 7t plus 6 is less than 0. You can divide both sides of the inequality by 2. Now we want to find the critical values. So we first we got to find the critical value, so we got to solve the equation t squared minus 7t plus 6 is equal to 0, which is going to be factorized easily. t minus 6 and t minus 1 is equal to 0, so t is equal to 6, and sorry, t is equal to positive 6, and t is equal to positive 1. Those are the two critical values, and we can see this is a type of graph which will look something like this. It's going to cross the t-axis at 1 and 6, so it's going to be less than 0 between 1 and 6. So the values of t for which it's below the t-axis is between 1 and 6. So we can see that it's going to be um, less than 5 meters from O for 5 seconds. So the answer is 5 seconds, between 6 seconds and 1 second. So it's going to be less, it's going to be less than five meters from O for five seconds. Okay, that's the answer in that question, um, question number four in Solomon H. Okay, so there we are.